back to another episode of Psychonaut Sessions, your home for all things Psycho, Ultraverse Thursdays. Hey, Aaron. What is happening? What is happening? It's really great to have you. I've loved you on this journey. I'll continue to love you on this journey. As well. This is this has been a fun journey, and I, I'm actually digging that it's been a minute since we've had another number one, like some new, new blood. I know. Um, I was really excited about this, and I loved this book. Freaks, number one. I did I did have this. I didn't remember if I had, but once I started reading it, I yeah, I remembered everything. I didn't remember exactly how things were gonna play out mm-hmm. or yeah, how they were gonna play out, but I remembered where they ended up by the yeah. end of this issue. Yeah, I didn't pick this up originally. Um, for some reason, I think I missed it because I was interested in it because it looked like kind of like an X-Men new mutants kind of right thing, which is entirely um, why I picked it up. Yeah. Um, but I think I just missed it, and then I picked it up about 10 years later. Um, I remember because my son was like a baby, so that was about 20 years ago. God, I'm an old man. <laughs> um, and I remember picking it up then and like finding old back issues and loved it. Had a lot of fun with it. It's definitely w- has a way different tone than all the other Ultraverse books. And I loved the reread. And my God, Walt Simonson did the cover. That is a. Uh, it's one of those things where I've I've sort of been knocking in some of the previous episodes of what we're doing here that pinup covers are not doing it for me anymore and whatnot. But this one I actually I actually dig it. Yeah, I mean it's Walt Walt Simonson, the greatest signature in all comics. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think if I remember correctly, he kind of just drew this. If I remember them saying correctly, and they just kind of created the characters out of his drawings and designs. Okay. I, c- I could be wrong. Mr. Jones, please correct me. Um, I do remember David Albrecht talking about how much they screwed up with the cover in the sense that, like, it's covering up the title. Like, people couldn't even, people yeah. <laughs> couldn't even see what it was. Yeah. I don't know if this is Freffy. I don't know if it's, yeah. <laughs> Freffy. Um, (laughs) but man yeah so hella awesome Um, I did like when I first picked this up I remember okay cool Walt Simonson and then I opened up and the art was like whoa wait a minute that's not Walt Simonson that's not Walt Simonson at all so we got Gerard Jones as writer Ben Herrera as penciler Mike Christian as inker our freaking favorite buddy Ultraverse this is the Tim Eldred channel Tim Eldred Thursdays it start yeah we should just change the title yep um and i remember so when i did pick this up 20 years ago i remember opening up and there were i didn't actually like the art then i was like ah and i well that that's a big that's part of the reason i don't want to you know i've had multiple you and multiple other of our artist friends offer to do covers for Yon the vagabond and that's yeah. part of the reason i don't because yes yeah. i same seeing a walter simonson cover yeah and then turn it, and it's Ben Herrera, and it's not—it's not fair to Ben Herrera because, yeah. like, as we get into this, I actually like the art. Yeah, exactly. What I was gonna not, say, yeah. yeah. Twenty years ago, I didn't—I didn't like it, but I was just younger and immature, and I—I I didn't have the finer appreciation for different types of art. But in this reread now, I fucking love it. I love how just weird and. Um, just obscure it is but still just tells a great fucking story just like the storytelling capacity Um, well and you're gonna see as we flip through this i actually don't have many notes gerard jones and ben herrera do a fantastic dance here of the the storytelling i i don't it's i was intrigued i i forgot i was about halfway through reading this when i remembered oh shit i'm supposed to be making notes to talk about just because i was so caught up in what was going on 100 percent hundred percent i will note that at first i was like man this guy's drawn really weird he looks like the dude from nightbreed yeah um and but then i was like realizing as i read oh he's he is <laughs> yeah. yeah he 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 his body stretches and he kind of turns liquidy and shape shifts and stuff so that's what's happening here he's getting chased by police i really love the like different angles that are yeah. in every single panel um, and then we meet this big rock guy um, and 
is trying to defend his buddy and he calls his friend Huck, which is a really cool motif. I right, love yeah, that. I mean, yeah, the, the literature angle into this is part of the reason I was also pulled in. Yep. I, well, and you, you mentioned in the last episode about Strangers, where with Hoberg playing with layout and how it was too busy here, and I agree with that. Here, this layout feeds so well into the panic and confusion that everybody's feeling yeah. that I, I was right there in it it sucked yeah. me right in and i think because the way it's thumbnailed it's kind of frantic and disjointed which is actually what's going on with these people you know yeah. um and i the coloring even though i've complained about the glossy paper the coloring is still saturated but uh, with ben herrera's artwork it still works really well well and we seem to like this is paul mounts too and we actually seem to complain less about coloring when he's on the book. True. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. I don't know that I'd put him at Tom Eldred as letterer status, but that's that's a high bar. Yeah, it is a very high bar. So we get uh, this gal coming in for the rescue as well, and he's having to stop her because she's just got the worst temper ever. And this is where murder we everybody. see his powers kind of come into manifest, which is really cool. So he's yeah. actually like this guy in the background, um, really, which in that right. he looks like some sort of creature. But um, so that's the, these colors on the screen. I mean, in person, but also the, they are just crazy wild. Yeah, uh, this neon is just incredible. So, yeah, he tries to protect the cops from being murdered by her and then they're taking off and she's even calling him, you freak. And then he escapes down into the gutter, this Huck guy, um, and goes down deep. And we get a little bit of his backstory where he was a football player and he gets hit and he just turns into this liquid. His powers manifest. Yeah. So it's Which is like straight X Men. I mean, yeah. I, there's no wonder I dug this as a kid because yeah. this, this, the DNA of X Men in this is very evident, which is 100%. no bad thing. Nope. As far as I'm concerned. Nope. Um, so here he is, um, naked and alone in the gutter, in the sewer, and he runs off. Um, and then we get this cop who's trying to figure out what's going on, and they're just kind of talking about the situation. Um, I don't know that there's anything um, of meat here, but it's just right. like, oh, it was a freak creature, and the cop's like, whatever. Maybe it was an right. maybe it wasn't. And then we get this gal, um, Val, I think her name yeah, is. Yes, Val's her name, yeah. Um, is screaming again, throwing a tantrum, and this huge rock guy, who you think is just some kind of like dumb lug, he um, is always reading Huckleberry Finn, and that's why he calls that one guy Huck, because he came and saved him, because he was in this kind of abusive situation where his family didn't know what to do with him, and they just kept him in the fucking basement. Um... And that's all he had was that book. Yeah. Well, and then they were going to ship him off. Yeah. And, and he loses like, it. And loses it, takes off into the world. Everybody's like, oh, it's a freak. But Huck comes and rescues him with a big old smile. He looks like uh, right there, Strowman's X Factor run of, uh, he looks like Jamie Madrox. Yeah. Yeah, he does. So, and then he talks like, you know, he rescued you too. And he's like, eh, he rescued me, blah, whatever. And she breaks the door down because she's just so angry and hot tempered. And then there's this girl here um, who apparently was led to come here to be with Huck as well. Um, and But she doesn't see it that way and is immediately paranoid and wanting to attack her. She's got some kind of hot plasma powers. Um, sort of thing and then this girl who kind of came in she's got some kind of weird tentacle thing going on um, it's like a body full of worms really love this I just yeah. don't know it just it's so so simple like there, there's not a lot of line work at all but that's I think that's why I love it um, yeah it was so, well, so and I like the blend of Wolverine sensibilities with Havoc's power base. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really good. Very hothead, 
but yeah and then you get why like she she's had a messed up situation yep she was in jail and um she was being blamed for burning down her school um and then this cop is like trying to make moves on her and she takes him out and i'm sure that's fucked with her and she's just like we're all alone um Again, there's a lot of white space on these pages, but it all works to the effect really well. Yeah, certainly that one, not quite as well. So I guess there's a note like that one doesn't work quite as well for me as the frantic chaos of them running from a cops at the beginning does, but it still works. Yeah, I don't. It wasn't enough that I really had much of yeah. a complaint about it. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking for nitpicks just so I'm not sitting here going, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so they're just kind of like talking about this, how this Huck character has come to each of them and been like... They say hey, his name. What the hell is his name? It's like <sighs> Philip or something. I'm just referring... Lewis. 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 Um, and so they're kind of hiding out in this Lewis character. Um, you know, well, you think it's actually him calling them, but you actually right. find out later it's actually someone else. Um, but he he enters the fray again, and he's trying to you know she's upset. It's the whole like jubilee jubilee freaked out thing, and they're just trying to calm her down and use his charm. Use yeah, his charm he's to a charmer. Ease her, and the cops are kind of looking for everybody, and he uses his powers to kind of camouflage them. Um, and this was kind of a fun motif where they're kind of talking about what they're going to do, how they were led here, and during that sequence. I he, loved this. Yeah. yeah. He's well, and screaming. I love that it's it's the subtlety of her losing it, calling them freaks, him freaks, we're all freaks, and then him in his low intelligence capacity. Yeah. You, you, you're like, what are you doing at first, dude? Um, and then you find out he's actually like, this is what we can call ourselves. We're it's, we're a gang, and they, that's yeah. what's kind of cool is they're kind of they're talking about themselves on like they're people on the streets. They're a gang and a gangs have titles so it's not like we're going to be a team and this is our name it's like we're forming right. a gang here and then out of the blue this thing breaks in through the window and it's this like tv junk or whatever and then it builds itself up into this like computer boy yeah which, which is, is i also i mean to the, to the gang <sighs> point with with him literally tagging the wall with their name their street name and that was all awesome and then yeah the reveal of it's one of those things like you've mentioned before and, and everybody knows that makes comics it would have been kind of cooler to have to turn the page to get that reveal but yeah it's still a, a dope reveal yeah yeah i uh, uh when i read this last night i was like i almost texted you and been like Dude, let's tackle the rest of freaks like right away. You know, let's just go in because I right. I really love this and I'm looking forward to diving in. My only actual complaint of this is that the issue actually read really fast for yeah. many of these Ultraverse books. Like they're kind of a slog to get through in the sense that there's just a lot. They're dense. Right. Well, but, and I I think part of that though is because the rest of them, the exposition is ha handled very chunkily. Yeah. Of like, we just want to impart as much information as we can. Even with a character like Hard Case, where it's a solo character, yeah, it's very deep exposition because we have to know his past. We have to know about the squad. We have to know, you know, this. We we met the the four character the core characters, and or the five. I guess we meet him at the end. But I, this was just well done. Yeah. Gerard Jones, and I mean he he is prime. Prime is one of the worst about pacing and exposition kind of screwing with that pace and then there's issues where you don't get enough and and here just nails it so yeah. i don't yeah. i'm not gonna say that it's uh i'm blanking uh Straczewski because he co-writes jar jones co-writes prime so i don't know if that's Straczewski or what but on his own at least this issue, we'll find out if it keep if he keeps it up. But yeah, this will. is this is paced brilliantly. This is 
yeah, it's just a simple, nice read. We meet everybody. I get what I get everybody. So yeah. I don't, I don't have, like I said, I could reach for some nitpicks, but no, nope. this, this might be the best read. This or sludge might be the best read so far. I agree. I agree. Uh, I'll be looking forward to kind of seeing how well this holds up because I know sludge holds up really well. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. We're definitely, we talked in the last episode, we're going to be making some adjustments to the reading order. And so I think that's going to be coming, ladies and gentlemen. I dig so, it. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, man. Uh, we'll yeah. see where we go from here. Uh, everyone, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for more notifications. Please buy all of Aaron's stuff because he's brilliant. You can buy some of my stuff too. I would appreciate it. And also uh, brilliant. Keep it psycho. <laughs> <laughs>